Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Royal Navy doing our best to hang on in March 1941. We've got the fleet fairly well spread out over the uh, the shipping lanes as you can see and down here we've got the uh, little task group of two light cruisers, Gloucester and Sheffield, plus two destroyers just sort of covering around Dakar. Um, we'll just have a little skip through, make sure everyone is looking okay. The Nizam, yeah. We've got single destroyers, as you can see. Very, very thin blue line. It really is a thin blue line. Um, but we shouldn't have too long, I think, until our aircraft carrier comes out of the port. So yes, one more turn. The Dainty will come out in two, and the Vivian will come out in one as well. We've got the Ilex currently covering the Liverpool, Portsmouth, um, sort of Irish Sea area. Up here near the Iceland, we have the battleship Nelson with the heavy cruiser. Beric and the light cruiser Ajax with the destroyer Impulsive as escort. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got other uh, destroyers uh, littered around the place to try and um, block any capital ships or any surface vessels heading into the land <laughs> Atlantic. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickly cough. So, we're here with four blue squares in the tonnage wall. We're doing okay. I think we're going to hold station for now and see what the first engagement is. Oh, it's a destroyer. Uh, the Vanessa has come uh, under attack by the Z-10 Hans Lodi. Of course, my plan to stop the big ships coming into the, uh, the Atlantic is kind of hampered by us not covering off um, L'Oreal, Brest, that sort of down here in the Bay of Biscay, uh, which we may need to correct shortly. But for now, we've got a destroyer um, battle to deal with. Oh, torpedoes launched. Where's my ship? Right, okay, so she's launched torpedoes, probably... Um, well, I should imagine in front of us, aren't they? So we'll turn hard to port. We'll also reduce our profile to her slightly. We'll target the uh, hands lady. Let's have a look at the hands lady. Here she is. In all her glory, looking quite nice. She's got five five-inch guns and eight twenty-one-inch torpedoes. Thirty-six knot speed, six hundred shells. She's only got four torpedoes. So is that her lot of torpedoes she's fired, or has she got four more? Not a hundred percent sure on that one. Um, anyway, we'll open up with some high explosive shots. I think elevation of predicted of twenty-three point four. So if we'll go with that, twenty-three point five, that'll do. It's the opening gambit anyway. No wind. We're pretty much in line. So, fire. Let's see how this goes. Long. Good news is that these torpedoes look to be well wide of the mark. Thanks to our evasive maneuvers. And we've also created a reasonably small profile. But they get a, sh they get a shot onto our... Um, Depth charge racks. Any damage? Yes. Steering is slightly damaged. Oh, yes. Um, our rudder's knocked out. Bloody typical, isn't it? Okay, so all we can do, really, is um, sail on. Oh, we, the rudder is broken at a... Well, we now just exposed everything, but we can bring our rear gun into the fight, I suppose. That's something. Um, right. So last time we fired... It's not going to give me how wide of the mark it was. We were quite long. So if we, what we say now, 18.7, we were 23. So if we drop that to say about, around about the, the high 19s, I reckon. Fire. There, some good shots. Torpedoes, as I say, she calculated that launch uh, based on our predictive course. But obviously we changed that and she's making smoke and running. Wonderful. My rudder is now returned, so we can head to flank and start hunting her down good stuff um, so 18 we're probably going to be closing a little bit I'd imagine 18.6 let's go with that just short just short yeah I am right in there <laughs> those little book feeders are right at the mark Okay, she's running. That's good. That's good. Smoke and running. I'm happy with that. And she's turning that way. 
We'll close in. We can always use our torpedoes if need be. Um, so we were short. So I'm actually thinking, what's our max speed? 34. So we're slightly slower than she is. Suggesting we're both going max speed. But if you're running away, then you would go as fast as you can. Um, has she received any damage? To her pumps. Oh, that's why she's running. Okay, we got a hit on her pumps. She'll be taking on water. And she can't help herself if she is. Uh, I'm going to fire at the same range then. Oh, just wider the mark. She continues to run. Nice. We'll continue to chase. Now, thinking her speed has probably hasn't been hampered too much. So we probably moved, what, a square and a half? So our last shot was there. So yeah, she's, she's pulling away from us, actually. Uh, so let's increase that to, say, 19-1. Fire. Yes. Torpedoes run out of steam. She's uh, in her thick black choking smoke. Rather wonderfully. We'll close in. Uh, her speed probably hasn't altered too much. So we'll continue up the rate of fire. Her propulsion has also been damaged now. So you can expect that we're gaining on her now. So if we drop down, down to 18.8... fire. Yeah, right on top of the funnel. Look at that. Okay, we are closing on her now. A slight bit of damage to her propulsion. Let's see if we can close in. Uh, drop it down another couple of clicks. Probably down to 18.5 actually. Far again. Ooh! We're closing in much quicker than I was expecting. Nice. So, let's drop that down to, uh, from 18.5, let's go to 17.9. Oh, and still long. Okay. A bit more of a drastic um, drop then in elevation. So, uh, I'm going down to 16.8. There you go, two good hits on the bridge. Well, one just behind hit the funnel, I think. Closing in. Uh, again, we'll drop that down to 16.2. Another hit on the funnel. Is this actually having any effect? No, the propulsion's now back. AAA is knocked out. We'll move forward. Do we have any aircraft, actually? I haven't checked that. No. That's fine, then. Um, we'll be firing at 16.2. Drop that down to 15.6. That funnel is getting a hell of a beating. One hell of a beating! Uh, it's not really having much effect, though. We need to drop it down quite a bit. So, for 15.6, let's drop that all the way down to 14.1. Oh, must have got just hit the uh, the underwater side of the keel. Let's have a look. No, it didn't really do much. Dramatic. Obviously, they've got a fire to put out now, but um, if I go to 13.9, not much really. Yeah, so that hit underneath the waterline, the first shot, and the second one on top of the decking. Right, let's drop again down 13.5. Ooh, nice. Hit something combustible that time. She 
is still going. Don't think we'll need the torpedoes to finish this one off. Uh, swap that down to 12.9. I'm actually going to change the shot to the rear of the ship. Drop that down to 12.7. Oh, she slowed down. Okay, she's the damage has caused her to slow down far more than I had anticipated again. Let's get a little bit more with the program. So I reckon that's probably all the way down to 10, 10.6. Just sure. That's not from the shell. That's from the um, the fire. I think the secondary explosion. Found something hot and uh, combustible on the deck. No doubt. Nice. Oh, she's returning fire. Amazingly, I was expecting us to be sunk then, but we have not been. <laughs> We're still here. Let's have a look. How is she doing? Oh look, come on! She's her her lower deck is, sorry, sorry, her aft deck is under, under water thanks to her listing. Propulsion is damaged, pumps are damaged, aft spotter is damaged, aft radar is damaged, four torpedoes is damaged, and AAA is is knocked out. So red is is destroyed. Uh, these are the various darker colours of amber. Obviously, the darker the amber, the uh, the more damaged it is. But they can repair it over time. So. I uh, don't think she's uh, completely dead. Um, what was our last shot? Our last shot was there. Okay. Um, let's drop that down. It's at 9.6. Skim the shot. Oh god, who's going to sink first? You, you may say that was um, a slightly weird thing to say, but I've got every expectation of being uh, blown out of the water now. Reduce our profile a little bit more. Bring the that all the way down to probably eight. Two good hits. The fire is back on, and she's sunk. She's sunk. Hands loaded. Sinking. Nice. Well done. Well done. The Vanessa receives some light damage, but she survives and sinks. Z10 hands loaded destroyer for two thousand two hundred and sixty. Nice. Good start to the day. Crikey. Meanwhile, destroyer Ilex has been uh, intercepted by three U-boats. U-207, U-227, and U-229. Brilliant. That's going to be really easy for me to remember. Um, the good news is, it's noon. She's in UK waters in the Irish Sea, which means she should get a reasonable amount of aircraft support. Oh. But it would appear that the Germans have brought aircraft support as well. So a torpedo bomber coming in. Obviously, they probably had a bit of a message from their spies to say the oh cracky um, to say the um, aircraft carriers due out very soon. And that's probably why they'd uh, sent this small wolf back. Right. Oh, are you going to fire a torpedo as well? Oh, full spread. Oh my, I don't I don't know how she's going to get out of this one. This is going to be tough. Right. Right. So, torpedo there, and that's coming from the aircraft, obviously. And a torpedo there, which is coming in from the other aircraft. Obviously, we've got a U-boat just behind us as well. Then, in front of us, trying to spot the U-boat there. Is that it there? No. Um, there's a full spread coming in like that. Hi, hi, hi. I don't think we're going to get out of this particularly well. All we can really do. Um, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get a torpedo hit one way or the other, aren't we? I think. I think we'll have to go there now. Do we have aircraft? We should do. We got three bombers. Here we go. 
Here we go. Um, right, first of all then, let's get rid of this one in front of us. So we've at least got a bit of um, room to uh, get away from these U-boats who have kind of boxed us in a little bit. Right, let's plot that back. Wait, wait a bit. Ooh, wait better there. There we go. Launch. Bombs away. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, she's gone. U two two nine sunk. It's a good start. Now, how are we going to go with these um, torpedoes? Ooh, ooh, we dodged them. We dodged them. They're going to be really annoyed. Oh, here we go. Four more torpedoes coming in from our stern, so we can speed up and get going. And four more torpedoes from that one from our stern. Right. It's not over yet. Right, here are those torpedoes coming in there. There's torpedoes down there. So those ones those have probably got another turn before we have to worry about them. Um So hang on, let me just see. That's the oh hang on, we still gotta worry about this one, do we? Yeah, there's still a torpedo there. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Um, can we get in front of this torpedo? It all depends on getting in front of this torpedo. Oh, we might be okay. Oh, no. That one's coming for us. Damn. We didn't quite get out of the... Uh, the wiggle, but... What we could potentially do, if we lost our U, uh, if we lost our uh, destroyer, but we take two of their U-boats, then uh, it's um, something. That charges away. Boom, she's gone. 227 sunk. So 227 and 229 sunk, so we've got 207 left. Now, this is where we get worried. Is this torpedo coming in here? Is she gone? Oh, no, no, not yet. Um, right, we've got more torpedoes coming in, so. Turn and move. Oh, okay, she's dodged those. Now, if we're quick before she sinks, we might be able to get another air raid or air delivery <laughs> on this one. See the uh, oil stain over there? Get the charges away. Got her! Oh, yes! Thank you. Thank you to our Sunderland friends. The Ilex has survived. <sighs> so, brilliantly, we did. The Ilex did some fantastic manoeuvring. Still managed. Well, still managed to survive, even. Uh, despite having uh, received a direct hit from a torpedo, but she dodged about, what is it, four, eight, uh, yeah, so before eight, twelve, sixteen, uh, no, it wouldn't be fourteen torpedoes, is that right? Each torpedo, sorry, each sub fired four, a spread of four torpedoes, which is uh, three fours are twelve, plus the two from the aircraft, so yeah, fourteen torpedoes, one hitter. She dodged the rest, and meanwhile, R3 air raids, or R3 air attacks, saw U207, 227, and 229 sunk for 800 tons apiece. Nice. North Baltic Sea. Allied bombers attacked the naval base at Kiel and Wilhelmshaven. Um, 
causing heavy damage. Current repairs delayed by four turns. Nice. Right. We can see the Furious aircraft carrier is now popped out of uh, port with the destroyer Vivian. We can send the Ilex is already down to light damage thanks to some repairs by the crew. Pop her in for some full repairs. Uh, meanwhile, we've got the aircraft carrier and the Vivian destroyer sitting in coastal waters. Now, I may move the aircraft carrier because she could be slightly vulnerable. Um, I might, I'm, uh, you can guarantee if I move her there, she's going to be attacked. So what I'll do, I'll move her there. And I'll send uh, the Ajax down there to protect her as well. There we go. Okay, so she's just kind of out in operations and she might move around here. Maybe she'll join up with uh, these guys uh, and then the Ajax can go back and support the Nelson. Cool. Right, we've got the um, Imperial here. She's patrolling the Med. We'll just move her around a bit then. Uh, down here we've obviously got the uh, the light cruisers. I will actually start moving them up. Uh, we've got the Nism there, so what I'll do, I'll leave Kelly there around Dakar and I'll move them up. Um, and Nism can cover the, extra, the second destroyer requirement. Good. Okay. Okay, all things being well, we're doing okay. Let's skip on. Right, here we are. Near the Faroe Islands. Destroyer Jaguar has come under attack from U191. It's noon, they have the initiative, and they've got aircraft once again. Anti-aircraft fire is not doing much. Torpedoes dropped. Of course she got in nice and close, didn't she? Ooh, the plane flies over. Right, where's the sub? The sub is oh, the sub is in that direction as well. Ah, the sub's over there. So, uh, yeah, we can do a hard starboard turn. Let's turn to a third speed. Hopefully, that should be uh, allow us to get away with that. Good. Uh, what do we have? We have no aircraft. Um, how far is that submerged contact from us? Seven thousand. 109, uh, 118 meters. Right, okay. So we won't fire. We will do nothing this turn. Torpedo. Oh. She gets a second airstrike. Crikey, Moses. This must be one well connected commander. Okay. Where's that one? That's coming there. So we'll just continue our hard starboard turn. Ooh, hopefully that'll be enough. Um, yes, dodged them both. Noise. Now she's firing her torpedoes. All oh, right, I'm getting tired of this now. <laughs> right, she's run out of aircraft. She's now firing four torpedoes. Um. Let's just accelerate, turn slightly to starboard, and accelerate away. Um, right, my original plan of being nice, well, going in with the torpedo is kind of gone now. I'm just going to start raining some shots in on her, trying to force her under, we'll de try and depth charge her. Uh, so we'll go with 12-9 as they recommend. It's kind of in towards the wind, so it may be short. Right. Um, I don't think we're going to accelerate away from them, are we? So, if we turn to port like that. Ah! Oh, no, I got that slightly wrong. I got that slightly wrong. We might be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, not quite. Not quite enough. That's probably her gone. Hit at the rear of these ships. No, oh, no. Oh, that, that only literally just made it. As well. Okay, well, all we can do really is um, head straight for one turn. 
not wanting to get the uh, the other torpedoes up our... Oh, and they run out of steam. Of course they do. Oh, secondary explosion. She's not long for this world. Uh, where is the contact? She's there. I can't even see it. Um... Okay, what was it? 15.9 against the wind. Okay. So, our last shot was a couple of turns ago, actually, and that was all short. So, we'll go with what they reckon. 15.9. Actually, it's a bit windy, so we'll give it a couple more notches. Short again. But not a million miles short this time, which is better. Alright, let's move in. Let's see what the damage is. We're looking very low at the rear. Uh, the wide turret's knocked out. Okay, and obviously some damage to the hull, and we've got a blazing fire as well, which is obviously not helping. Select back on there. So we're, we're pretty much near enough on the money. 16.1, they reckon 16. So I'm going to drop to 59. Fire. Short by uh, quite a bit, actually. Let me continue on. 15.8 they reckon. I'm going to actually not, not shut up to 16.1. Um, yeah, fire. Got him. Got a snagging shot. Right, we'll, cut, we'll start to turn around. The fire. Are they getting the fire under control? I hope so. It's because the waves are lapping over the deck, probably. It's put the fire out, which is a bit fortuitous. Um, we've closed in a little bit, so 15-8. Fire. Right. Um... 14.3. Let's bring the shots down a bit. I don't think it should be quite that much, so we'll. Oh, the wind's going to drag that. Yeah. Are there or thereabouts, though? Right, 13.6, they reckon. Seven thousand four hundred meters. Oh, six hundred meters. I beg your pardon. Um, we're closing in a little bit. If I can force her to dive a little bit, then I will come flying in with the um, depth charge runs. Uh, Twelve point three, they reckon. Okay. Seems a little bit much. I'm gonna go 12.6. Oh, I didn't calculate for the winds. Yeah, and there she is. Stop trying to rush everything. Slow down. Slow down. Right. I'll adjust for the wind. Uh, 12.6, they reckon. Uh, sorry, 11.9, they reckon. I'll go 12.3. Yeah, it's almost on top of it. Let's slow down a bit, just in case if she she does um, fire more torpedoes, we've got the we got the option to either accelerate or to slow down even further to uh, evade. Um, Eleven point six, they reckon. Okay, but we're we're kind of on the money, so I'm going to go twelve one. Turn it slightly into the winds. Fine. Torpedo away. It's a full spread of four. Okay. Um, let's turn away. Oh god, that didn't work very well, did it? Uh, they shouldn't reach us this turn, which will allow us another 
chance to get out of the way. Alright, okay. Alright, there we go. We should be safe this time. They wing either side of us. <laughs> Where was the ship? Oh, there we go. Okay. So there there they are. Okay, let's um, just turn the slight to starboard. And um, all will be well. We'll just let them go past us a little bit. And then we can turn and start firing again. Okay. Torpedoes run out of steam. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, hard over once again. Let's um, start firing at her. Um... What we reckon then? 14.2 is their opening gambit. Okay, 14.2. We'll go with that because we have pulled away a little bit from her. The wind is also a little bit stronger, so. That wind really did pull that those shells away, didn't they? Right. Um, 8,400 meters. So 14.3 they reckon. So we're reckoning on the money. So we'll drop that down a notch just in case we're not aiming for the periscope. We want to hit the conning tower just below the water, don't we? So I actually do that. Still pulling them quite a lot. One. So we're on the money. Let's have a look. Uh, we were a bit long, so drop that down. 13.7. So we looked always short that time. So they reckon 13.7's on the money. I'm gonna, okay. That's odds a lot. Let's just keep firing random at that, adjusting it slightly. The wind's taking it, and I'm not adjusting enough. I'm trying to get round so that we are actually facing downwind of her. Right, so far there, that should. A bit long. But the angle was better. I know. I'd Rather than trying to work this out. Candidly, I'm actually just you know, accelerating through it and just trial and error, which is probably not the best way. But kind of you get into a lulled into a false sense of um, security that you know. There you go, torpedo away. Oh, a full spread of torpedoes! Crikey! Okay, we're gonna go hard port. Um. You know what? Let's make her dance. Let's fire one straight down there. Uh, I'm not sure which way she she may potentially go, so I'm going to fire one there, and I'm going to fire one there. Let's uh, let her, her do some manoeuvring for a change. I know it's probably a waste, but you know, I'm sick of being shot at. There go our three torpedoes. Right, um, so hard to port again. Hopefully that will leave us in good stead. Okay, yep, looks like they're slipping by us, which is nice. Here goes ours. Oh, sorry, here goes ours. Oh, it looks like it's going to miss. It's going to sail behind her. Um, okay, I'm right in the middle, so I'm just going to have to uh, stay reasonably straight for this turn. Just let the just torpedoes go by. And there we go. 
yeah, we, she dodged us. Right, now though, have those torpedoes run out of steam? Yep, we're all clear. Hard of port. It's a real cat and mouse game, this. Right. Um, what are we looking at? 14.1, they reckon. Okay. So 39, judging from the periscope to the top of the conning tower. Okay. Slightly wider the mark. Range was good. Range was good. So 13, so 14.3 they reckon, but I'm, I'm going to stick with my guns. Literally. Slightly short that time. Uh, we'll increase the range to 14.1. Bah. Another good hit on the ship. She's leaving the combat area. Nice. Well, okay, it's um, score draw, and I think she gets the away goals favor favoring the result, to be fair. Uh, the Jaguar survives, but with medium damage, and the U191 survives with light damage, taking two shell hits. Okay, score draw. Oh my goodness me. West Labrador Sea. Allied merchants attacked by warships, 63,280 tons of merchant shipping sunk. Is it the Tirpitz? Is she out in open waters? Or is it just a destroyer? Where is it? The West Labrador Sea. She's over here. How did she get by us? We're going to send the Nelson to investigate. Um, meanwhile, U-187 and U-92, oh, one of the old school, um, has intercepted the aircraft carrier Furious, the light cruiser Ajax, a destroyer Janus, and a T2 tanker also. We are here in the western approaches. Okay, we may get an aircraft cover, we don't know. Torpedoes away. Now are they going for the aircraft carrier? Yes they are. The tanker's not enough of a juicy target. Now they're going for the tanker. I have to say, Royal Navy anti-aircraft gunnery is appalling. I don't think we just shot down the city. Well, she's dead. <laughs> There's not much I can do with that. Right. Uh, so here we are with the Furious. Best we can do, I think, if we angle between those two torpedoes, we might get away with that. Right, let's launch some fight... Uh, not bomb it. This, yeah. Uh, depth charge bombers. Ready the hangers. Let's get those swordfish up and ready to go. Right. Torpedoes are coming in there. Yeah. So I'm going to turn Ajax, obviously, because I don't want her to have any of the overruns. Um, do we have any air support? No, we don't. Okay, fine. We've got the six-inch guns of the Ajax. Oh, uh, we've got a U-boat there. That's the one we can see. Uh, we'll go with that one. So, uh, what do we reckon? She can't plot them yet, so I reckon probably six, five to six. So if we go, maybe yeah, five point five. Split the difference. Fire. I'm just short. Right. So this destroyer can pick up that U-boat. Not the other one. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, Ajax is starting shooting at it, so we might as well um, shoot at it as well. Uh, we're 4,600 meters away. That gives us an elevation of 7.3. Just for the wind, plus to the shots. I'm actually going to drop it down a little bit. And we put the shots all the way around it. Right, so we got a torpedo literally point blank. There's not a lot we can do here, to be honest. I suppose a hard turn to starboard may ricochet off the hull. No. <laughs> it's going to hit plumb. Right, here we go. How are we doing with the aircraft carrier? There goes the tanker. Oh, she's dodged though. Nice. 
Okay, all we can do is really send this one forward because of the... Actually, turn slightly to port so we don't run into this. There we go, nice. And we can launch the, the bombers. Right, Ajax. Um, that was the T2 tanker. That's 20 odd ton, 20,000 odd tons there, right there, isn't it? Right, I think we're probably about right with 5.5. Yeah, we are. Um, angle the shot. Must have done damage. Must have done damage. Six inch shells landing all the way around her. 6.5, they reckon. Okay, we'll go 6.6. Six. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. We'll go for it. That's a bit long. Those torpedoes sail past the cruiser. Uh, the sorry, the carrier. No action, and U ninety two is diving after receiving some damage, no doubt. Right, those. So where is the other U boat? Do we know? Ah, one front, one aft. Okay, we'll turn hard to start, but then. Trying to get away from them. Now we've got some aircraft. So that's 92, and she's dived. So we're going to go for this one. Because I think, if memory serves me correct, these can only go down to periscope depth from these uh, swordfish. So we might as well attack this one. And we'll send the destroyer into depth to charge the other one. Right, launch. Oh, it looks good. Yes, U-187 sunk. Nice. Here we are. We're with the Ajax. Now, the other ship has... Um, you, the other U-boat has decided to dive. So, um, what do we have? We don't have depth charge or anything like that. So, no action for the Ajax. Meanwhile, send the destroyer in. U-92 continues to dive. Um. We'll do no action. We'll let the swordfish circle for a moment. Um. Just in case uh, she decides to pop up to the periscope depth again. Not that I can see her doing that, to be fair. But you never know. You never know. I will right, turn in on her. It's starting to speed up now, ready for the depth charge run. U-92 continues to dive, but we've got the destroyer coming in, as you can see up there. Just might as well just sail on. Now all we'll go straight this time, then we'll turn. Keeping our on sensors. Okay, next time. Oh, she turns more. Out of port. Yeah, okay. As I thought, she's going the other way. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna depth charge just yet. Because we would lose her in the sound distortion. 
So we're just going to have to do that a little bit better. So yeah, she's she's actually sailing that way. Um, we could perhaps do... Will that straighten out how... Hmm... No, I think that's probably a bit too chancy. No, we, we can give it a go. No, she's just on the edge. She's just on the edge. And that laid. I thought I was going to enable her to uh, slink away, but there we go. Um, it was right on the edge. Was it worth going for? Maybe we could have been a little bit conservative. We had the time, I suppose, to try and really hunt U-92 down. One of the old guard, but she's still going. Uh, the Fury survives. The Ajax survives. Janus survives. Sadly, we lost the 22 tanker for 22,500 tons. We sunk 187 for 1,032, and we damaged U-92. North Baltic Seas. Um, Allied bombers attack naval base at Kiel and Wilhelmshaven, um, causing medium damage. Current repairs delayed three turns. Right, and we've got capital ship here, so we are going to send these guys over here, and I'm going to send those two over here, and um, we'll see if we can close in on them. Um, yes, but we're going to leave it there this time. Thanks for watching. We've also have these guys. We may, in fact, we try and bring these up. Um, as well. We'll all try and close in. Close in on whatever this is. It's probably going to be just be a destroyer or a, a um, auxiliary cruiser or something. But if it is the uh, Tirpitz, then we've got our big ships heading that way. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we'll pick them up next week or she may slip through our defences once more. Well, we can't really afford to keep that letting that happen. So we better try and hunt her down, whoever she is. And we'll do that next time. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this Atlantic Fleet Royal Navy playthrough. If you are, hit that thumbs up. It really does help the, uh, the the series and the channel. And it makes YouTube wake up and send the video to other people. And if you'd like to see and continue to watch the videos, please hit that subscribe and tickle the bell. So you make sure you get all the, no the, all the notifications from YouTube for the next videos being released. Thanks ever so much. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.